My name is Ramsey Tokumbo Noah, and I play the character Emeka in Confucian Nawa. Uh, my name is Osi Ukeje, and I play the character of Charles. My name is Sunde Aladishi. I play the character of Isabella. I am Fidelis Ikmamosa Gold, but I just love to be called Ikmamosa Gold. It's cool, simple, it gets me going. I play the role of Chichi in Confucian Awa. Well, she's cheating on her husband with, an, with someone who's also married. And so, you know, she comes across as kind of desperate and... Um, Charles is one half of um, a duo of street boys who you know, just do anything for you, but majorly steal. I was just giddy with excitement and I thought, if I do not do this project, it will just be wrong. And you don't pass up a script like that, is what I thought. And here we are. Yinka sent the script to me. And he said I should read it. Now, I am not the one to, I don't know why, I usually prefer reading hard copies. So when you send me soft copies, like, um, it takes me a while. Well, she's cheating on her husband with, an, with someone who's also married. And so, you know, she comes across as kind of desperate and, you know, kind of a hoe, if I can say that. So I was, on, I was traveling, I was on my way to the United States and it was a, it was a long flight. So I brought my laptop out and I started reading. And funny, I was totally engrossed that I finished the entire story before I touched down. Immediately I touched down. I got out of the airport and went to immigration. I picked up the phone and I called Yinka almost immediately and told him, dude, I'm in. I particularly love the scene with Chi Chi um, that talked a lot about the conspiracy theory about the Lion King. Uh, it's that scene that goes about um, the light lions and the black lion and the issues of racism and what it depicts. It's a really funny story because when Chichi is delivering it, he's delivering it very seriously. Chichi. Um, An interesting character indeed. Chichi is this, um, this, is this person anybody can, can identify with at any time of the day. Chichi is somebody everybody can identify with. And so when, when, when you see somebody you can identify with the story, you will practically listen to whatever he says. So, Chichi comes with something nobody knows, or everybody thinks he knows, until he brings it his, his own way. And people are saying, are you sure that's what he's really saying? And Chichi is saying, yes. If you look deep down, with my apostolic reasoning, you will see that this is what Lion King is actually all about, not what you think it is. Are you a doctor? I would have noticed if I was married to a doctor. I was thinking it's chicken pox or something. Yes, it's chicken pox. Are you happy now? The more you read about her, and particularly in her final scene, you kind of get where she's coming from, which is where I came to. Because the first time I read the script after Kenneth told me to, sent it to me and told me what part I would be playing. And I read like the first few scenes with her and I was like, so what is it about me that made Kenneth think I would be appropriate to play this person? Um, I, I think that people are going to like the intricacy with the stories. Um, and I think it will resonate with them in the sense that it, it will surprise you how connected you are to people um, that sometimes you don't even know. So it's almost like it's a bird, bird's eye view and you look at you know, a city and then you see how people are linked to each other and how each person's issues or how each person's challenges either affect someone directly or affect the other person indirectly. The script was really, really captivating. It was so nice. I didn't expect it. So I'm like, you got me there. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's, it's a story that actually balances, you know, um, um, both sides of the coin. You know, so that gave Chichi 
the let me say impetus to say to 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 give it that dissection. When I started reading the script, one of the first things I saw was that the character was dead. I said, so what is this man asking me to come and do? A dead man? <laughs> you know? I said, ah, no. I said, okay. Let me, I wanted to call him immediately, but I said, since he said I should read it, let me just go ahead and enjoy the script. You know, I said, because normally, uh, nobody wants his character to die. That's just the truth. So I said, why should I die in this? You know? I said, okay, let me just... Uh... I, I love the scripts. As in, when Kenneth first called and asked me to be in this film, I, I, I agreed because it was Kenneth. I was like, ah, yeah, Kenneth is no you. So I hadn't even seen the script, I didn't even know anything about the role. But, you know, I figured, ah, you know, how about Kenneth girl? And then I got the script and I, I thought, because I think it was like either late at night or crack of dawn, I thought I'll just read a few pages and then go to sleep and finish the next, uh, finish later. But I started and I couldn't stop. I finished it in a couple of hours and I was laughing my head off. And it was like, Right from like the first couple of pages, I was suddenly really, really excited about being involved in this. And I was like, I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to be in this. I'm so glad Kenneth thought of me. Because honestly, I didn't think it would go further than that. But as I continued, I saw that, oh, this is a different kind of script. I've not, I've not, I've not actually read seen this kind of script. Okay. There was, first of all, confusion. I went back again to read it. Is this guy really dead or is he alive? You know? I said, okay, let me just continue. So as I kept reading, the interest kept, you know, increasing until I realized that, oh, it's actually more than what I thought. I said, well, this is beautiful. <laughs> it's also this kind of story where you know that it's not, even the ordinary minds can easily, you know, absorb it. You know, at the same time, it's still intellectual, you know. And there's an equilibrium of, um, our, our existence, our society, you know, you know, where you have a bit of the rich or the middle class and then you have the, the low class, the poor class, you know, so it, 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 it actually teaches you morale of, you know, both sides, you know, whether you're the rich guy or you're the average guy and if you're the street urchin, what usually goes on there and what goes on here and then you bridge them or you put them together in your story and tell people how they connect, you know, and then in the process there is a moral, you know, you know, learning from it in the end. For it. And I felt honoured to be part of it. I think it's a very exciting project. It's just nice to see it. And especially because this is written to deal with issues that people here can identify with. So I think people are going to like it just for that, you know. And then this is apart from good cast that they have.